Okay, so election's over. Or it's not really over. Granted, I still think Trump Trump did not. Where is he? What is he talking about? I can't find anything he's saying. Why is he not having speeches? He's still the president. Trump has outsmarted them every step of the way. Do not lose heart now. For his name is Trump. That's the card you play when you know you've won. It is against his entire essence to lose. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think so. But remember this. No matter what, losers lose. Do you see this? Here's the truth. We have what the media tells us. Like, if you are a Christian, that means you're evil and you start wars that the Christian religion and religion in general has destroyed more places on earth than anything else. It caused more wars and more deaths than anything, right? If you're black, you're oppressed, you're held back, you're too dumb to make it on your own, and um, it's the white man's fault. And if you're white, you're racist, you're rich, you take advantage of others, and you are privileged, right? Well, hell, if you're the police, uh, you hate every race but white men, obviously. And if you're female, you're held back by men, right? Because women can't do it on their own, they ain't smart enough. Like, so, if you're gay, well, you're mistreated by all, right? If you're a Christian, you hate anyone, you rape kids, you're biased, um, you believe in an old book that's outdated and has nothing to do with reality today. If you're a Democrat, you're evading reality, you're socialist, you want government to run your life and everybody else's. If you're a Republican, you're a warmonger, you hate the poor, you're stupid, and you're a racist. Does this sound familiar? Right? Now, the truth is your media wants you to fear everyone. They say the kids shoot up schools. You know, I want you to think about something. You're more likely to get struck by lightning than get shot at a school. Viruses kill all these vast number of people, but the flu disappears. Did you know during the flu season there's anywhere from 26 to 31 strains of the flu floating around? That's why they make new vaccines all the time to try to guess the new strains. Now, what the hell happened to the flu this year? Nonetheless, they say that whites hate blacks and blacks hate whites and everybody's sexist and morals are worthless and Work sucks and businessmen are evil and they hate the poor. Here's the truth, the reality that we all should know. Your work is the most honorable thing that most men do. It should be your source of pride. And it should be enjoyed thoroughly. And if you don't, you either need to assess yourself and why you work or maybe you need to create another job. It's much easier than finding one anyway. Um, religion has blessed more people than any other institution on earth, and government has killed more people than any other institution on earth. All humans, all these people, Right here, from the police, to the whites, to the blacks, to the Christian, to the Democrat, to the Republican. We have something in common. We're all human race. We all bleed. We all feel. We all love. We all want the best for ourselves and each other. And anyone who tells you different just doesn't talk to that many people. They point out the one or two really 
ridiculous examples and say everyone's like that. Your kid's not going to shoot up the school and you don't have to worry about that. It's ridiculous. Guns don't kill people. One retard kills people with 300 million guns floating around all the time. It's a damn good track record. You could not make an assembly line that outperformed that. All races of men love each other. We do. I know. I talk to them frequently. The police are just doing what they're paid to do, and we are the ones who pass the laws. If we don't like the laws, how about we vote for new ones? If you want to burn someone's house, if you want to destroy property, why don't we start with the media and the politicians? The media is the one lying to us, making us our forcing beliefs down our children's throats that are ridiculous. The media are the ones who divide us, and the politicians are the ones they're doing it on behalf of. So how about we go get the politician, not the policeman? Why don't we go and get the media mogul and not burn the police precinct? Let's take it to their station and get rid of the one that's dividing me and you. Men love and adore women. We do not hold them down. As a matter of fact, we want you to be strong and independent and healthy and earn money and do everything that you want to do because we love badass women, at least badass men do. And to be a man, you have to be badass. There's a lot of people that grow big and do not grow up, and that's their fault, but they're not men. Family is the foundation of any nation, and anyone that teaches different is a liar. This country was created on a foundation of family, not on DHR. Not on the police, and not on a government check, but dad, mom, children, leader, and the ones who help to create the dreams of the family together, the, unit, the one that unifies us all. A man cannot do a woman's job, nor should he have to, and a woman cannot do a man's job and shouldn't have to. We are different and that's okay because together we are perfect, separate. Everything sucks. <laughs> um, no one cares if you're gay. No one is oppressing you and you can stop that now. It's just really gay to act like that. Not like gay happy and why you want to get married, I still do not know. Do you know a happy married couple? Why are you wanting to do that? <laughs> no, honestly. Um, the institution of marriage, we can admit, is there for a reason. Because man, woman makes baby. That baby means another taxpayer. It's a government institution. I don't know why in the world we ever involved government in marriage at all. They shouldn't be. They never should have been. But why do you get tax breaks? Because you've got another person to pay more taxes. That's why they like to be there. They like marriage. This is just common sense. Stop throwing fits over things that make people unhappy. You can be unhappy like the rest of them. Like, why would you do that? Come on, y'all. Gay people. Anyway. I tell you this. Because gay people, we love you. White people, we love you. Straight people, we love you. Police, we love you. Do not let the media divide us and conquer us, but let's see through them. And if we have to go to attack someone, let it be the media and politicians. They're the ones that asked for it. Not the policemen, nor the white people, nor the black people. But the ones who keep pitting us against each other need to go.
We can just cut them off and cancel culture their ass. Or if we must, be violent and it should be toward them. I love y'all and I don't even know you. I don't have to. Because humans love humans. We are there for each other and we bless each other and that's just the way we work. And it's pretty damn cool. So, do not lose heart. Do not be distraught. Reality is still there. A is still A and there are absolutes. Anyone that teaches you everything is relative and there are no absolutes cannot be absolutely sure that they're even relatively correct. Anyway, I love y'all.